Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna go over some of the sprites in order to animate our characters. So stick around for that. Alright, so before I get started, uh, let me just do a quick apology. It's been the holiday seasons and because of that I haven't had a lot of time to make some videos but now I'm back. And uh, let's just get to the subject, I don't wanna take this forever. And uh, like I said before in the videos, be on the last video, uh, we are, I said we're going to create a bunch of sprite, and maybe animate and so forth, but I noticed that it's going to be a bit too long. First, I need to go over the concepts, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go over the concepts that what I want these uh, players to do, and the, the sprites that we're going to need ev uh, eventually. But let me just draw a kind of a player over here. So like this is going to be our player. And he has uh, inside his own uh, part of the field. Like I said before, there's two of them. So here's there's another player over here. So that won't matter. But I want the player to have a go any direction. So we get up and down. And plenty should be the same animation because uh, when you go up uh, in uh, let's say Super Nintendo era you could have a face over here or something like that and if you go down you could have a, uh, maybe a hair over here or something like this but I'm just gonna stick for one color I'm gonna go over Y but so it's gonna be one sprite for that and also gonna have ones that's gonna be the same sprite for Ido no actually I have one sprite from Ido and then I'm gonna have another sprite with an animation going up and down. So I'm gonna hit that one. Then I'm gonna have another sprite walking this direction. So that's over here. And another one, well, just one. We can, so this one's gonna be walking back and forth. So now I have one for idle. I should have write it down in case I forgot over here. Uh, up and down, up, down, it's the same one, and one forward, we can just flip the player reflect raster to just reflect to the other side over here, so left and right, left, uh, I don't know why, I can really, it's lagging over here, I'm not going for okay this is left and right you're just gonna uh, keep like that so here we have our directions so idle is pretty much when the player is not pressing anything not doing anything so you're just gonna have this animation standing and then you're gonna have a up and down it's gonna be based off uh, idle and the same thing for uh, left and right so this is our standard and then up layer going up and down left and right so there's two different animations and I also want to go diagonal so we have that going for us so we have all this range over here we're gonna use those animations not only so we have that but like I said before let me just uh, start on a one instead of cleaning everything uh, let me just me, no uh, this is creating the one so we have that in case the movement and if you remember before if a player has a ball so here's my player and he has a ball then he can't move so we're gonna also need an uh, uh, extra animation with the ball we're also gonna need one when he's throwing the ball so like I don't know shoo so here he is throwing the ball something like that so we got that animation too and uh, I'm gonna make him a slide or jump for the ball as well so here is him is jumping to catch the ball so we're gonna need this one jumping on this direction and jumping upwards So you're gonna have all this 
different animations that we have to go through. So we have, have idle too. So have idle. Maybe keep him diagonal. Not really sure. Then go walk, walking up and down. And then left and right. So we have all this animation to work with. So this is pretty much the setup that I have for now. It might change. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is this is gonna be this is the main the main focus that I'm gonna have. And uh, that's pretty much it for the design. Let me just go over here for Play Pal by Alan Bill. Let me go back over here. If you go to alanbill.com, if you go to if you saw my previous videos, you know how to get here. Play Pal 2, and this is our editor. We do have the other ones. You can go to my editor's videos. Not my editor videos. My sprite editors videos and you can see all the other options that we have but i like this uh, this web app over here better so as you see you have the, a few options over here so or edit and so forth you have more options and so forth and here you have an animation this is one of the best part about it and it can generate your curl generate our code so uh, before we get started so let me just uh, draw something really fast and go over uh, a few problems that we might have as soon as we start a Atari 2600 game and that is let me just draw this let's say this is a head and let me make this bigger to make it more obvious update okay Let's draw a guy over here. Some okay, so here's a guy. So that's uh, something simple. So here it is. Something really simple. So here is our guy right over here. Something like this. Here's on this side. Okay. Uh, let's say, for example, that I want this guy to have a shirt. Well, that's pretty easy. You can just go over here. Uh, let's say I want a blue. Actually, no color. Let me go the one below. I want a blue. Here it is. That's pretty simple. And if I want a different color for the pants, that's easy. Just go over here. And a different color for the shoes. We want black because it's a. So here it is. I created this character right over here. And uh, as you see, that looks pretty cool and it's pretty nice. Let me better pants over here. Okay. And uh, let's change the color over here from his. It's not pale white. Let's go. Uh, is it pinkish? There you go. Ooh. I mean, okay. There it is. Uh, so this is our character, and uh, it looks pretty cool, right? But as you notice over here, I can't really uh, give him a lot of uh, any sort of features. Let's say this eye is just made a hole through the thing right here. So here, that's how I made an eye. So I can make like some f things like this, but all of this is just a, ho a hole. So, uh, if the background was different, which I can't change it, where's the background color? Like this, as you see, the color of his sh shirt changes, but it's something that it can work with, right? So, it still works. But, I can't do something like this Pry for Super Nintendo and the Nintendo, where I have different colors. So, as you see, I'm stuck for this color. Well, there's different uh, options we can use. That's why I have this tab open, so let me just go over here uh, really fast before I forget. So here we have a big sprite. Here's the by the 8-bit shop work. Uh, so oh, let's see by where? Oh, I can follow. Uh, I was gonna forget who on this. Oh, never mind. Here. Uh, never mind that. So let's just uh, get to the subject here. And 
uh, as you notice over here, there is uh, bitmap 0 to 5, so there's 6 of them. And if you notice this big sprite, all this is doing is having one sprite player 0, it's player 1, so there's a sprite here, a sprite here, a sprite here, a sprite here, a sprite here. And it's moved along the side, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, equivalent to all of this. And as you notice, even though it's a bigger sprite, so we can have more detail, we can really have uh, different colors over here. So here's a red, it's a green, red and green, so forth. And uh, we can have all these different colors, but it's something else you can look at. So if I were to make a game for the Atari 2600, uh, the line is always going to be on the horizontals, and we can change that. So for that reason, I'm pretty much thinking, since I, I'm going to have to draw, like over here, a player come doing this and then upwards, you'll see how I can not really change the, so this is the head, this is the head, the head is going, I can't change the horizontal over here, change, I had to change this body too, but over here I can just draw it over here, but you already see the hands here, so there's, this is one of the limitations that we have with the tire, so all of this player is going to be essentially one color. So all of him is going to be one color. So all the players, at least player zero and one of the players is going to be one essential colors. It doesn't look as cool, but I think it's going to get the job done. And I maybe can have any, there it is, oh, look pretty cool sprite. So that's one of the issues I'm going to have with the Atari 600. But like I said, so my choice is just to have it one color and we're going to work with what we have over here. So that's one thing. So let me just go over here and reset. And another thing, I have my, uh, Atala, my Stella menu open. And right here at the ball graphics, we're going to we have different, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, different scratch level, scratch, like how big the width is. And uh, if you remember from, if you've seen the previous video on the control play field, uh, somewhere over here, we have a raster D4 and D5 for the width of the ball. So we have width 1, which is 0, and then if you I believe is E4 is gonna be with two. And then I have four and eight. So let me go over here. So this is the normal one, just one ball. And it's gonna keep drawing forever until you enable it off. So here's enable it on. And here is this with two right over here. And that's what I'm gonna use. So gonna be with two and two size. So our ball is gonna be pretty much a square, which is fine. So when I'm drawing this uh, right over here, this animations to hold the ball, I'm gonna have to draw a square over here. So it's gonna be a square. So right over here, something like this. So the player is gonna have his hands out, and here is gonna be his head over here, something like that. Something like that. I don't know. You figure it out. But this is gonna be the animation for the for the player over here. We're gonna need this one ball over here so he can throw it. And that's uh, I think that's pretty much what covered the game plan. I don't know if I wanna give him a hat, something like that. But that's the game plan. And uh, right now, uh, let me just uh, I don't know should I. Yeah, I'm probably gonna draw this. I'm gonna record it, the video. I'm probably gonna speed it up. But uh, that's pretty much the concept, the idea they wanna work with. So with that said, uh, let me just uh, draw this out. So let me do that first. All right, so uh, I already have something done over here, which is this guy over here. So let me put him right on the corner over here and uh, draw something really fast over here. And I want to keep them around the same ratio. So both of them is going to be eight. 
So here is my character. Something like this. Extremely really fast. And I can come over here to generate the QR code. Let me copy and paste and put that in place of the uh, um, OU and I want you. Okay. So now let me assemble and run this guy and come over here. And as you see, it's not exactly around the same ratio. Uh, let me actually let me put the guy first so you guys can see. So this guy right over here is a bit longer in length here, and this is, and I got you the right over here is a bit more boxy. But I think uh, if the game going, I'm probably going to do something strike it fast, so people won't uh, catch it as much. So I have something like this, for example. So. Uh, even though they're not exactly alike, just keep in mind you don't want to make your sprite too big so this will be bigger and then this jump animation is going to be completely way off. I think this is good enough so I'm going to stick with that. And if you come ready on the animation, I can just come here, uh, copy this, paste. So let me do something like this. I'm not really that great at animation so this and then you have our animation tab over here and if you click on it as you see now we have our character moving his arms and legs so that's uh, the gist of this animation tool that we have over here and of course here you have the frames last frames the faster it's gonna look the more frames the slower it's gonna look so that's the whole gist of the animation you're gonna generate our code over here generate so it's going to be frame zero and then frame one we can uh, rename it later here you go and that's how the this whole animation thing works so I'm gonna do now uh, I'm gonna pretty much just draw some animations over here and uh, it's pretty much gonna be the end of this video because this video is getting a bit too long I don't wanna jam it with uh, some unnecessary stuff. In the next video I'll probably uh, I'll go over the animations that I made and we're gonna uh, let's go over here. We're gonna add the code to it so we can animate it as soon as we as soon as we hit our joystick forward so instead of well this is, where's the other one? Let me close this instead of this guy just moving something like this we want to animate it, we want to have this some action going on over here so that's going to be in the next video and uh, with all that said, uh, thanks for watching, uh, see you guys in the next one